Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done uh, any new videos. And here we are, we're doing the roommate tag, me and Katie. So question number one, it's, did you know each other before you became roommates? Yeah, um, I, we did actually know each other before becoming roommates. Um, in July in 2017, uh, I met his husband at an old job that we had. It was a call center. As his husband and I became better friends and knew, got to know each other better, Oscar and I became friends, and then eventually, by September, the end of September, we were moved in together um, into a tiny one bedroom in his father-in-law's house. <laughs> Literally, yeah, like 200 square feet, I think. Not even that, like, yeah, a little box. We fit a mattress and a half, kind of, in there. I think you were the one with the, the sequel mattress. A, du a double bed. A double bed, and then we had... A queen. A queen. In one bedroom. <laughs> we had, like... This strip and that strip of just walking space, and that was, oh. Plus my dresser and my bookshelf. Yeah, it was mm. very odd. <laughs> <laughs> what were your first impressions of each other? Um, I actually told Isaac this recently, but I hated him when I first met him. He wore jeans and a t-shirt and a hoodie to his first day of work, and that was very unprofessional, I thought. And then, it, it just, I don't know, it just, I, I didn't like him. There was just a few things about him that I just, I didn't like. And then like two weeks after the job started, we just became like best friends pretty much. <laughs> and then like with Oscar, I just heard so much about him. Um, it was probably about a couple weeks or a month before I actually became friends with Oscar. But I had just heard a bunch of really good things about him. I heard stories. And then um, just hanging, hanging out the little bit that we did, I actually liked him in the beginning. Yeah, I mean, we hadn't met. Well, from my side of things, it was like, oh, I'm just meeting another friend of Isaac's. Like, because he had shown me when, when we moved to Greeley with um, together, and um, Isaac was still like pretty new to me. We were kind of new in the relationship a little bit. Um, we had some time in Denver. We did a lot of fun in Denver. But like when we got to uh, Greeley to go live with his dad for a little bit, well, I think yeah, we lived with his dad because we were like, this is what we're gonna do. Alternatively, instead of him doing college we're gonna try to find work and try to work up money so that way we can like take over the house while his dad moves and then we had this whole plan but it didn't work out that's obviously <laughs> um but like my first impression was like because he showed me another friend and another friend and i was like oh cool, cool awesome so i'm gonna meet all his friends then i met katie at work like his, when they were at the mall i think um they had walked there from their work and I met her. I thought she was like this little goth girl. <laughs> I was like, oh, he, he met a big titty goth girl. Because <laughs> uh, you had your hair a little longer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't cut it yet. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. No, it's pretty long. Yeah, you had longer hair. And I don't know, I just thought... Yeah, I was like, she's going to be cool though. Probably, yeah. I mean, like, I didn't think she was going to be this country girl. <laughs> Katie surprised me over time. So... Um, yeah, first impression was great, though. And excuse me while I wipe my face, I'm getting hot flashes from a medication I'm on, so. Of course, yeah. When is there not side effects? So I'm really sweaty. We also have a hot apartment. It's like the beginning of spring, and now, it's, now it wants to fucking be hot for once, you know? Yeah, it's weird. Mm -hmm. um, third question, how long did it take to become friends, slash, were you friends before becoming roommates? Yes, I mean, obviously we kind of just answered that hand in hand. Him and I were pretty much friends instantly. It took about a couple weeks for Isaac and I. I mean, you kind of have to be if you plan on sharing one bedroom with two other people. So. That was an experience, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> um, Especially me, a single person sharing a room with a married couple. Yeah, it was... It sounds like a weird situation, <laughs> which it just, I mean, it gets weirder from there. Yeah. Uh, number four was, what do you most commonly argue about? I don't clean. You know, it's, if there's stereotypes about girls being clean, this doesn't fit Katie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, that's what we argue about sometimes is just I'm, I, I have to like do the dishes when they gather up, um, which I don't mind. That and money, just because we're so like combined together, like our finances are combined together, like everything about our lives are just combined together. All, all of our toiletries are together. Like, we, we do laundry together, it's just... Those aren't hard to fight about though, because it's kind of like, oh, when we go to the store, we're like, okay, I want this. This is gonna be like the household shampoo and conditioner, but like, if you want anything, like you get specialty um, hair oil. Yeah. And yeah. then I get like a specific 
perfumes that I've had. I love my freaking like Bath and Body Works perfumes that are like little like pretty glittery ones. It smells so good. I love smelling like candy every day or like a Starbucks refresher, not milk. <laughs> Um, another question is, what thing does your roommate do that most bothers you? This one kind of goes hand in hand, kind of like pet peeves, but I mean, mm, something different, I guess. Um, I have to take out pussy trash, or I have to force you to take out pussy trash. <laughs> and quote unquote pussy trash is going to be um, all the wrappers and all the um, bloody pads. Although, do you flush some things down? You're not supposed to! Disgusting! Oh. That's good then. <laughs> we, we won't ever get a clog. It'll just be from our shits. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What thing bothers me about him? Nothing really. I think mainly just like, I don't know. We're kind of going to go into this in question eight, but uh, certain things about our mental illnesses kind of bug each other. Yeah. But I mean, we've gotten around to getting like used to it. Uh, question six is what do you think of your roommate's YouTube? Uh, I guess I'll go with yours first since I'm starting the question. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome that you're starting this booktube channel like I I don't want to say it but like I've inspired some people to like hey let's get on a fucking camera let's play around with it and like upload it why not right? Um, so Katie's excited to sit there and read books and get back into her love of books and then I sit there and um, explain to people I mean the story of it uh, how good it is or I mean have you ever read a bad book yet? Yes. And you can explain to people how bad this book is and why you don't like it. You have your opinions about it, and that's what I love. The book I'm I'm reading right now, it's really hard for me to get through because I, I don't know. There's just something about it, but I don't know. Yeah, see, I'm not a reader, but I know there's certain artists or no, not artists, authors that I don't like their writing styles. Who was it? Hemings? Heming? Hemington? Hemington, right? I fucking hate his writing. He goes on the seven pages long rant about like. This flower dazzled in the sun. I'm like, I don't give a shit about this flower. But then I know people are gonna be like, it's supposed to be metaphorical, it's supposed to make you understand this. I'm like, when? When? That's like, the sky is blue. Why is the sky blue in English class? I'm like, I don't understand. What is this metaphorical bullshit you're like trying to make up? I don't know. But some books I just can't get into like that. Um, what I think about his channel, and there was kind of another question I, I saw of, um, do you guys watch each other's YouTube channels? Um, I watch his quite a bit because um, he does Minecraft videos um, and sometimes they're just kind of funny. Uh, but uh, I'm really into Minecraft. But I think him and I are kind of different tastes. Like he doesn't really like that like book, so I'm not going to really take offense if he doesn't watch my channel. It doesn't really bother me. Or like if I don't watch his Agents of Mayhem, it's, it's not the game I'm really interested in. But I won't watch his Minecraft videos, it's just fine. Um, but I, I think it's awesome that he has something that he's passionate about and I remember um, before we got our desktop he was just like really wanting to get back onto YouTube and like so upset that he hasn't been on YouTube and just like oh he really wanted it and so it was just kind of something that he's really passionate about and I think that's amazing. Yeah I have my breaks and then sometimes I'm just like when I'm on my breaks I'm watching other YouTubers I'm like Man, you're inspiring me to come back. Like, I, you just make me want to do fun stuff too. Because I mean, like, why not, right? It's fun to do on my free time. Um, I, was, I thought you were gonna say that. Well, I mean, sometimes her and Isaac like to freaking watch my cringy old videos. I hate it. Sometimes I wish I didn't keep them on there, but I'm this. I'm that kind of YouTuber that's like, I'm not gonna take it down. That's history for me to watch and laugh at myself. Yeah, sometimes we'll, we'll be in the mood for Oscar cringe and we'll sit there and watch a bunch of videos and laugh about it. I'm surprised I'm not in a compilation video. <laughs> I'll make it for you, don't worry. Oh my god. <laughs> Number seven is who spends the longest getting ready in the morning? Oscar does. Um, he, I can get ready in like five, ten minutes. He spends way too long in the bathroom and I have no freaking idea what he's doing in there. I'm sitting there moisturizing. I'm trying to see like, okay, is there anything else I can do? Like, maybe there's some hairs here that look obnoxious today. Maybe like, uh, maybe if I didn't brush my teeth properly because I did I did a rush job, I'm just like, oh shit, there's some plaque right there I didn't get. I don't know, I just try to make sure like I don't go out half-assed, you know? Yeah, I, I throw a t-shirt on and some pants and then kind of head out the door. Brush my teeth, run a brush through my hair in the car. Usually, we have a brush in the car for those mornings that I just don't want to brush my hair at home. So yeah, no, literally. Uh, number eight is what is something you didn't notice about each other until you became roommates? 
I have certain mental illnesses and he does. Most of it's just depression and anxiety, but um, there are certain, like there are different people that react different ways to certain situations. And it's just been kind of like a roller coaster, getting used to both of our situations and then our triggers, um, some of our issues, um, like I have certain issues from my childhood, he has certain issues from his childhood, past relationships, and that was just kind of, that's just kind of been something that we've been, we're still kind of getting to know each other with that aspect, and we've been living with each other for two years, so. I mean, that's where we can relate, at least. Yeah. This childhood fucking sucked. <laughs> Um, I mean, from my parents' perspective, my dad could totally be like, well, you were lucky because you didn't have to go through crack, sorry, my dad would say this, he'd be a crackhead mom. I'm like, that's, okay, that situation was bad, but it's like, if you see it from my point of view, it's like, I was, yes, my, I didn't go to a foster home, so I stayed with the same family, but I was with my grandparents, and they could have been a lot better about things, like, they, I don't know, it's just... Yeah, there was a l l little language barrier because he doesn't speak Spanish much and they don't really speak that much English. So it wasn't like he could really talk to him, them about his, what's going on in life and It's stuff. just that like, I didn't want to speak Spanish a lot and it's like I messed myself up because I could have been practicing and at least had it in my head so I could know a lot of words but then it's just like, some days it would be so hard to communicate with them. But like, look at me now, I'm trying to like be a polyglot out here with like learning freaking Italian, German, um, Spanish again, and then French all together. Oh my God, like it's crazy in that household. Let's see, I guess question number nine is, do you ever get tired of seeing each other? Not really. Um, I mean, we have separate rooms obviously, and then I work, and then he's off when I work, and we kind of have opposing schedules most of the time, so that's kind of our break from each other, but we're just like really good friends and we just hang out together all the time anyways, so most of our day days off, we're both in the living room, one's on the computer, one's on the Xbox, one's watching TV, and we just kind of all spend time together all the time anyways, so. Yeah, I mean, we, we get our breaks here and there. Oh, and then yeah. sometimes we try to like group our family together to do things together. Like we all need to go to Walmart for these groceries. Let's all put in the effort. Let's all walk. Let's all grab the groceries. Let's all remind each other, oh, let's do this, let's do that. I need this, I need that. I mean, it kind of just, it's less lonely, you know, living in a household, so. Yeah. Question number 10 is, how do you avoid tension while living together? Our little breaks, like if, uh, if I'm getting overwhelmed, I just go into my room. We've gotten way, way better with communication. That's something that I've always, believed in is communication. It's something that my dad always drilled into my brain is communicate, communicate, communicate. So if something's bothering me, I'll just say, hey, Oscar, this is what's bothering me. And we'll kind of go from there. And so I think um, a little bit of advice, if you're gonna move in with friends, communication is key, 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 key. It can't be too awkward, because then that's just not really like what you should have in a household. Otherwise, it's just like, that's going to create more problems. I mean, we had this one roommate live with us for two months. One Whoa, month, maybe? Not even that. It didn't yeah, even last it was, long. It, didn't, it did not last very long at all. It, there was no communication with him. We tried to communicate. It wasn't working out. Um, you know, it, it, it felt like he was more of a freeloader than a roommate or a friend. And um, there was some stuff that happened. And honestly, it almost drove Isaac and I apart. I almost moved back to Washington over it. It was just like a lot of crazy stuff that happened. And we basically just said, you have to leave. We can't have you here yeah, anymore. We're gonna keep the household together for the sake of like, we all need to like advance our lives properly. Thanks, and not like have someone who doesn't give a shit about their life or anyone else's ruin it. Yeah. So that was a close one, but I mean, we're good. We're fucking stronger. <laughs> we have another one that's most likely gonna move in with us in September. And honestly, we both already really like him and it seems like he's really gonna fit in with the family. He makes the same jokes as we do. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> and you wouldn't expect that of someone his age. Like, holy crap, dude. Cause he's like, what, in his 50s? 50s, yeah. Like 50s, yeah. <laughs> Sounds crazy, yeah, I know. Someone in the 50s is moving with 20 year olds. But, like, you know, it, he needs to get back on his feet, you know, get his life back together and we're doing the same thing, so we can help each other out. Literally, we all have the same goal. It's just yeah. to like, fucking head above water in this fucking crazy ass world. Right. Especially living here. <laughs> all right, so that's the end of your- That's it, yeah. I've got my 10 questions. If you guys wanna see another 10 questions, it's gonna be on Katie's channel. It's gonna be her second video ever. 
I'm excited. Yee, we're gonna build up her, her repertoire? Oh my god, I haven't used that word in forever. What does that even mean anymore? I haven't been in school in forever. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'll leave that link in my description below and probably try to make an annotation for people on the PC just to click. So, see you guys over there. Woo!